Hello, everyone, and welcome to Southwest Baptist University, this private four-year evangelical university with more than 100 areas of academic study is here to help students deepen their faith and equip them as servant leaders to make an impact in the world for Christ. Nestled away in the beauty of the Missouri Ozarks in the southwest part of the state, Bolivar is home to quaint boutiques, locally owned businesses, and a variety of great restaurants, as well as national retail stores. And of course, the SBU Bearcats, I'm your host, Alex Boylan, and over the next half hour, we're gonna hear from students who are becoming world changers in their academics, in athletics, in the local community, and around the globe. They are very excited to share their stories. Welcome to Southwest Baptist University. This is the College Tour. Okay, our first story is from a guy with a big personality who is everywhere on campus. Min is a youth ministry major from West Plains, Missouri. The community at SBU drew him here, and he is completely immersed in that community now as a student. Min, we can't wait to hear your story. Please take it away. Thanks a bunch for that introduction, Alex. Early in my childhood into high school, I had no idea how God wanted to use me, this high energy, childlike young adult for his kingdom. Then Southwest Baptist University came along and everything started making sense. I was accepted to many colleges, but SBU stood out. What pulled me to SBU the most was the community and how it felt like home. SBU is located in Bolivar, Missouri which is actually about the same size as West Plains, Missouri, where my hometown is. The only big difference is that my hometown doesn't have K-Life. K-Life is an interdenominational ministry I serve with that focuses on discipleship and loving kids that come from different backgrounds and broken homes. SBU shares that same love and care to its students, and I've witnessed that firsthand from the faculty and my friends. SBU's campus and community brings a sense of family to me, a sense of care, something that feels familiar. Going to several campus-wide activities each week keeps me busy, but it is also the highlight of my days. My all-time favorite event is Spy Week. This is actually how I met a lot of my fellow Bearcat friends, by chasing them around campus and spraying them with super soakers. Yeah. Talk about first impressions. Doing ministry, representing SVU as a student ambassador, participating in strange and competitive events, and having the constant support from my friends and faculty have been such a blessing. No matter what you come here for, you not only get an exceptional education, but friends and memories that will last a lifetime. That's the tip of the iceberg of my story. Thank you so much for letting me share it. This beer cat says, peace out. Man, it sounds like you are having a blast at SBU. Thank you for sharing your story about how Christ is using your entire campus experience at SBU to prepare you for future youth ministry. Students can get involved at SBU through local campus activities, small group Bible studies, chapel services, student-led worship events, and much, much more. Thanks again, man. SBU is serious about NCAA Division II athletics, but equally serious about the student and student athlete. Mary Rose is a biology major from Frisco, Texas. She came to SBU because she knew she would experience a high level of competition on the basketball court and top-notch academic preparation in the classroom. We're bouncing to you next, Mary Rose. Take it away. Thanks for the introduction, Alex. What's going on, everyone? Basketball is what brought me to SBU because I was looking for a place that allowed me to prepare for medical school while also continuing my athletic career. SBU was the perfect place because I don't sacrifice academic participation and rigor for athletics. I really love basketball, but medicine has always been my dream. I decided to transfer to SBU after attending another university because I found out how rare it was to find a school that is as passionate at balancing academics and sports as I am. 
I knew that the coaches here had successfully sent at least two girls to medical school, which is extremely rare, and I think that their efforts represent what Division II sports should be about. In my experience, I've found that Division II athletes have just as much drive and passion for the sport that they play, but they receive just a little bit more free time during the day than Division I athletes do. Being part of such a close-knit team, especially as a team captain, is an invaluable life experience that has taught me accountability and gratitude. The approach that SBU has towards supporting and challenging the student athletes gave me the tools I needed to get accepted to medical school, and I'll always be grateful for my time here. Athletics, even more than academics, has taught me that taking ownership of the opportunities that you have, instead of letting the opportunity become a chore, will allow you to grow more than any other approach to college life. It's easy as a college athlete to become overwhelmed by such a hectic schedule and start going through the motions, but being intentional about how you use your time will make for the most meaningful experience possible. That's all I have. Back to you, Alex. What a great play choosing SBU, Mary Rose. SBU has more than 400 student athletes competing in 17 varsity sports. More than half of SBU student athletes receive conference academic awards each year. And SBU won the Great Lakes Valley Conference's James R. Spaulding Overall Sportsmanship Award in 2021. Thanks again, Mary Rose. Nurses are in high demand across the country, and SBU is training compassionate and competent nurses with a heart for servant leadership. Brenna Allen, a nursing major with a minor in psychology, is here to share her story and give us a look at the fantastic training facilities. It's all yours, Brenna. Thanks, Alex. When I started my college search, I wasn't sure what I was looking for, other than I knew I wanted to find a place that felt like home and would challenge me to grow. Southwest Baptist University has been that home for me since I first set foot on campus. Whether it be welcome week, mission trips, campus events, or seeing smiling faces on the way to class, I found so many new opportunities to learn, feel known, and grow in this community, which ultimately led me to the nursing program. Some of my greatest college memories have come from moments spent in our Learning Resource Center and Simulation Lab that allows us to practice our nursing skills in a safe environment. With a cohort size of 30 students, I've had the opportunity to meet some of my best friends while getting hands-on experience and personalized guidance from our instructors. My instructors believe in me and are always there to support me, which has been monumental in gaining confidence in caring for patients and in myself. And while classroom content is important, some of the most valuable lessons I've learned in the nursing program are from the real life opportunities that happen during our clinicals at local hospitals and facilities. I have no doubt that these resources and our incredible instructors are to credit for helping lead our first Bolivar nursing class to a 100% first time pass rate on the licensure exam. Part of Southwest Baptist University's mission statement is to prepare us to be servant leaders in a global society. And I can sincerely say that my experience with the nursing program has equipped me with the tools and confidence that I need to show compassion and provide holistic care to my future patients. Back to you, Alex. Your story is so inspiring, Brenna, and those training facilities are amazing. The Learning Resource Center and Simulation Lab are filled with high-tech equipment that mimics what students will use in their clinical training and future workplaces. We are so glad you found your home at SBU. Thanks again, Brenna. Okay, everyone, let's meet Nick, a biomedical science major from Junction City, Kansas. Nick won the top biology research award in the nation for biology research he did as an undergraduate student at SBU. And as Nick shares in his story, the faculty at SBU were the key to his success. Let's hear it, Nick. Howdy, everyone. My road to Southwest Baptist University was quite sporadic. Growing up, I didn't always have a clear-cut path, and so after high school, I didn't know what came next. I eventually discovered my passion for dentistry, then I came across another obstacle. Where did I go to school? 
As I explore college options, Southwest Baptist University went above and beyond expectations and allowed me to come here. SB was the first school that made me feel wanted, which was unusual since I didn't have a strong academic background. They didn't stop there though. As classes began, I found it increasingly more difficult to balance coursework with a social life. I ultimately fell behind in several classes and was ready to give up and leave. If it wasn't for the incredibly caring faculty members, I would have fallen short of my dreams. The faculty at SBU invest in you and spend the time and effort to make sure their students have every possible opportunity and resource at their disposal. From holding their own study sessions to award-winning undergraduate research, the SBU faculty will get you to where you want to be. SBU doesn't just prepare us for a job, they show us how to be servant leaders in those jobs and do more for the people around us. And my advisor is the best example of this. He offers a thorough curriculum, but he also brings us food when we study, and he'll even fix the flat tires on our cars. I've found that learning and asking questions is significantly easier, knowing that the professor cares about me. SBU doesn't just help you reach your goals, they encourage you to go further, dig deeper, and not only focus on what your goal is, but why you are doing it. I'll be starting dental school soon, and although it will be hard, SBU is preparing me for what's to come next. Anyways, that's all for me. Back to you, Alex. Wow, Nick, what a powerful story. A story of the caring faculty at SBU who helped you stay focused on academics so you could pursue your dreams. We all need people who will be there as a teacher, mentor, and guide throughout college. Best of luck in dental school, Nick. College students amaze me with their abilities, especially when it comes to scientific research. Corinne is gonna tell us more about how doing research as an undergraduate student has influenced her career path. She is from right here in Bolivar, Missouri and is majoring in biology with a biomedical concentration. Corinne, you are up. Thank you, Alex. Southwest Baptist University was an unexpected surprise in my life. My initial plan was to go to community college to get my associate's degree and then transfer to a four-year university. I've always known I wanted to work in the sciences, so my courses being taught with excellence was very important to me. Between my junior and senior year, I had the incredible opportunity to be a part of Johns Hopkins Summer Research Program in the Neuroscience Department. Aside from a crash course in neurobiology, I was struck by how well prepared I had been by SBU. I've also been a part of SBU's undergraduate research program. This group looks at everything from avian diversity to cortisol's role in stress responses in calves. My project specifically has been looking at vaccine deficiency within calves. The particularly interesting part about this research is its relevance to both agriculture and biomedical sciences due to the similarities between human and bovine immune systems. It has been because of my education, professors, and SBU research that my goal is to pursue a career in biomedical research and immunology. My time here has given me experience in graduate level research, opportunities to publish my research in a dozen publications, and a solid foundation for my future. SBU equips its students academically in the sciences while also successfully integrating faith. As I go into the next stage of my education, on my route to becoming Dr. Knight, I can confidently say that I have been equipped both in my beliefs as a Christian, as well as my training as a scientist. And that's my story, Alex. Back to you. What an impressive story, Corinne. You have a great future ahead of you. While SBU focuses primarily on being a teaching university, students also have opportunities to conduct advanced research. This is especially helpful when applying to graduate schools in science-related fields. Cheers, Corinne. Math, physics, computer science, our next student does them all. Hannah is from Forsyth, Missouri, and is majoring in math and physics with a minor in computer science. She also is doing an internship with a major research institution to complement her work at SBU. Tell us all about it, Hannah. Thanks, Alex. Hey, everyone. Southwest Baptist University has always been a part of my life. I grew up coming here for church camp, and my brother played baseball here. So it was an easy decision for me to attend here, and I'm so glad I did. During my first year at SBU, I was able to dive right into my math courses and get experience coding in two languages. That much exposure so early on set me up for success and solidified my decision to study math. After my junior year, I was able to complete an undergraduate math research internship with UCLA, 
and I've been accepted as a fellow in MIT's Summer Geometry Initiative for this summer. I wouldn't have been able to have these experiences if SVU didn't prepare us and encourage us to pursue these kinds of opportunities. The Division of Computing and Mathematics emphasizes internships in preparing students for their next steps, whether that's graduate school or industry careers. With a 100% job placement rating for math and computer science majors, SVU graduates have gone on to work for Fortune 500 companies like IBM, Hewlett Packard, and even Microsoft. After I graduate, I plan to attend graduate school so I can continue to study math. The professors here are so passionate about their subjects, they've inspired me to become a math professor so I can continue sharing my own passions with students. That's my story. Back to you, Alex. I am so excited about your future, Hannah. SBU cybersecurity and computer science programs have accreditations from ABET, a leading engineering and technology organization. Few Christian colleges have this accreditation that affirms the academic quality of the programs. Plus, students complete courses such as Math Through the Eyes of Faith that explore how the Christian faith intersects with academic disciplines. Thanks again, Hannah. SBU's teacher preparation program is equipping future teachers as servant leaders to inspire future generations of students. Here to tell us more is Keaton, an elementary education major from Odessa, Missouri. Through partnerships with local school districts, students will experience multiple classrooms before landing your first job as a teacher. The classroom is all yours, Keaton. Thanks, Alex. Hey, everyone. When it came to choosing my major, I wasn't sure if becoming a teacher was what I really wanted. That was until I toured Southwest Baptist University and met the amazing professors we have here. After all my college visits, I then realized where I would receive the best education and where I'd be able to become the best teacher. It was SBU. The education department provides every student with a great experience and even better education. As an education major, you get hands-on experience right away, even as a freshman or sophomore. My field experiences give me the opportunities to take what I'm learning and apply it to a real and unpredictable environment in local schools. Outside of the classroom, our professors are still modeling what it looks like to be a great teacher by encouraging us through their actions and words. My professors love when you stop by their offices to talk or even just to say hi. The education program is a standout program where you're able to interact with professors, other education majors, and get the hands-on experiences you need to be ready to teach. Our education students get the opportunity to be in the classroom before you graduate with your field experiences, student teaching semester, and the Bearcat Teach internship. And there are different opportunities within our program, like global education and special education. 100% of our students pass the special education certification on the first try. The education department and professors have impacted me and helped me grow in more ways than they know, and I will be forever grateful for that. Not only do you learn how to teach students, but you'll do it so many times that you'll be ready for anything thrown your way. Back to you, Alex. Thank you, Keaton for telling us how you are learning to become a teacher. Your students are gonna love having you in the classroom. SBU education faculty help graduates find jobs in area school districts and continue to mentor their students after they have classrooms of their own. That is awesome. All right, Keaton, take care. Talent and creativity are on display everywhere on the SBU campus. SBU has a wide variety of fine arts programs from art to theater to music, and Maddie is gonna tell us about all these opportunities. She's a music education major from Colorado Springs, Colorado, who wants to be a music therapist. Take it away, Maddie. Thank you, Alex. Hello, everyone. Growing up in a big city definitely had its perks, but I knew when I wanted to go to college, I wanted it to be personal. Transitioning from a big city in Colorado to a smaller town in Missouri was a little challenging, but so incredibly worth it. The professors at Southwest Baptist University make your academics personal and care about you for you. I even get to play the trombone with President Melson. With the smaller class sizes, everyone gets to know each other on a deeper level and it elevates the classroom experience. The fine arts programs welcome everyone, which allows for a variety of talent or commitment. 
You do not have to be a fine arts major to be involved. For every area of the fine arts programs, whether it's art, theater, or music, the goal is to encourage students as artists and teach them how to find their talent. Coming into college, I had a general idea of what I wanted to do. I am currently studying music education with the intent to go into music therapy. I've had the opportunity to go into nearby schools to work with band programs and observe how they incorporate special needs students into their music programs. There are so many activities for students in the fine arts programs. From musicals, plays, art exhibits, jazz band, orchestra, wind symphony, and even the university band, there truly is something for everyone. SVU has turned my dreams into a reality. I get the chance to apply what I've learned in the classroom and I have loved every minute of it. I encourage you wherever you end up to push yourself out of your comfort zone and be invested in the fine arts programs. Thank you everyone and back to you Alex. Thank you, Maddie. You are going to be a great music therapist. Everyone at SBU can be involved in the fine arts, adding to an already rich college experience. Students can also attend fine arts events for free or at a reduced cost, further making the arts accessible to everybody here. Thanks again, Maddie. Attending SBU opens up a world of opportunities. Next, we'll meet Nathan, an accounting and economics finance major from Roy's City, Texas, who has connected with a diverse group of students on the SBU campus. He also has traveled the world on academic and service trips. Nathan, tell us all about your amazing adventures. Hi everyone. Growing up, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. While I knew I wanted to go to college, where I would go and what I would study was entirely unclear. My senior year of high school, I took my first accounting class and completed my capstone on corporate fraud, which confirmed my desire to study accounting, but where? My brother actually started going here three years before me, so I was already familiar with the university. I was drawn to SBU's College of Business because of their incredible job placement rates and pass rates on licensing exams. Since becoming a student, I've gotten involved with Residence Life and the CGC, or Center for Global Connections. These organizations have connected me with a diverse array of students and faculty we have here on campus. I've also had the opportunity to travel abroad on mission trips and study abroad through the CGC. Freshman year, I went to the Philippines and Florida on mission trips, and more recently, I led a trip to Utah. I also studied abroad for a summer in Jerusalem. My engagement with other cultures doesn't stop with the CGC. As an RA in Landon Hall, I've had the opportunity to mentor and lead students from all different backgrounds and walks of life. Each day is full of new adventures. You can find me doing anything from tutoring students to learning how to make Spanish omelets with residents from Spain or fried rice with a friend from China. We may not be a large university, but that does not prevent us from having a diverse student body. During my time here, I've made friends from over 30 countries. These people have not only challenged me intellectually, but also encouraged and supported me. I could not have asked for a better place to study. Thanks for letting me share my story. Back to you, Alex. What a journey you have had, Nathan. SBU's Center for Global Connections is a leader among Christian colleges in the U.S. for sending students on service projects around the world. The diverse student body also gives you opportunities to become acquainted with other cultures through friendships with your fellow students. And that is awesome. Take care. While academics are important in college, the holistic campus experience at SBU also encourages servant leadership. Brittany, a marketing major from Webster Groves, Missouri, is going to tell us how being a student athlete and a campus leader has taught her skills she wouldn't have learned anywhere else. Let's hear your story, Brittany. Thanks for that intro, Alex. Growing up, I was told I shouldn't take having an education for granted. Because I'm a triplet, I wanted to make college more affordable for my parents. SBU helps me do that through academic and athletic scholarships as a member of the track team. 
I was drawn to Southwest Baptist University because of their faith integration in academics and in campus life. I've always been a believer, but I never really knew how strong I could grow in my faith until I came here. Being a leader on campus has shown me how much I love my school. As a leader in Student Association, I have helped organize events. I love to see students get involved and it gives me the opportunity to really get to know my fellow peers. For example, I helped with our Bearcat Back to School Bash, which is a fun event with music, pizza, and a ton of yard games. It was a really cool moment just to see our campus come together as a whole. When I first started college, I really thought that it was just going to help me academically, but boy, was I wrong. Through student association and track, I've been able to hone my skills as a leader. I've learned that I can't do all of these things in my own strength, but rather lean on the Lord and my teammates and coaches as well. SPU's close-knit community makes it easy for students to find leadership opportunities. All in all, SPU has taught me that you can't do this whole life thing alone. So thank you, SPU, for teaching me the things that I would not have learned had I gone anywhere else. That's all for me. Alex, you can take it back. That's great, Brittany. I don't know how you keep up with track, student leadership, and your classes all at the same time. SBU makes it easy for students to get involved on campus and become a true servant leader, which helps build a stellar resume for future employment or grad school applications. Cheers, Brittany. I want to thank all the amazing students from Southwest Baptist University for sharing their incredible stories. Thank you for sharing about how God is using SBU to help you find your purpose and pursue your calling. We have heard from students talking about academics, campus life, global opportunities, athletics, and fine arts. SBU's caring academic community really does prepare students to be servant leaders in a global society. I encourage you to learn more about Southwest Baptist University for yourself. Admissions counselors are ready to provide you with a personalized admission experience. And hopefully, we'll see you on campus real soon. Cheers, everyone.